Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Beth Deer. Hey, how's it going? All right. You guys can relax now. I made it up here. It's okay. You don't have to call the insurance company. We're fine. Nobody's getting sued. So what do you get when you cross a comedian, a podcaster, and a filmmaker? There's actually no punchline here. It's 29-year-old Nick Thielen, who embraces his life with cerebral palsy as motivation for his work. And uh, people always ask me, what's your favorite pickup line? And I'm like, ow, my back! Please help! My, my goal is kind of through, through comedy and through film and through the other projects I've worked on to uh, you know, reduce some of the barriers or share my story and uh, make people laugh in the process. So Nick, getting up on stage, talking about your life experiences and making people laugh, what is that like for you? I mean, it's almost like a, a rush of uh, electricity, kind of. But I mean, the first thing is that I have to make sure to pick up my feet and make sure I don't stumble on the way to the microphone or whatever. <laughs> But, uh, you know, like I have a lot of experiences in terms of just living with a disability and some of the challenges and some of the frustrations, I guess. And I wanted to take those stories and present them in a funny way. And so, yeah, it's definitely a great feeling to be able to make people laugh. I've also been doing some uh, wheelchair basketball, play wheelchair basketball. So far, I've shattered three backboards and a hip. <laughs> Take that, LeBron, you can't beat those statistics. <laughs> I don't want to talk only about my disability, obviously. I want to talk about my life, and I don't want to necessarily be labeled as a disabled comic, uh, per se, but I have a you know unique perspective and some, some good stories, and, and it's been going pretty well. And his unique perspective and storytelling ability has helped Nick find his voice in the world of filmmaking. Because of my disability and because I'm not necessarily as stable, all the time. The, the challenge would be that uh, I'm not able to hold a camera as steady, but I'm good at telling stories. And so I, I focus a lot on screenwriting and stuff like that in university. I have made some films by, my, by myself, holding the camera by myself, and it ends up looking a lot like uh, shaky cam type stuff, uh, unintentionally, but I find the workarounds with the, the challenges I have, and in a way that makes the end result even, even more great, you know? being able to get through those challenges, and it's definitely a lot of pride I have in, in being able to get those projects done. One of the projects he's recently completed is a feature-length documentary that he produced, directed, and edited himself. It's called Love of the Game, and uh, it's a film about adaptive sports. So uh, adaptive sports are sports for people with disabilities. A lot of people don't even necessarily know about these uh, adaptive sports. And so, for me, it was very important to share uh, those stories. Nick, what were you hoping to accomplish by making this documentary? Well, uh, my initial thought when I was making this project, the hope is that for people that don't know about adaptive sports, they're learning something about the sports and how they work. Things like uh, adaptive skiing, where they have uh, slightly adjusted skis so they can ski down a hill. Kenzie, good job! You know, I know some of the people that I interviewed, uh, some of the participants in the project, they're very proud and just happy to be sharing their story. So that was a big aspect of it for me to be able to share those other people's stories. And for me also, on a personal level, like I, I made a lot of new, very great friends. So, you know, I'm beyond just the film, you know, I'm now connecting with new people and making new connections. And I guess that will help for future projects as well. And whether it's educating people with his films or laughing from his stand-up, Nick's well on his way to becoming an important storyteller with a distinctive voice. I think any any way that I can share my story or share other people's story and my, and my message and really create, I guess, projects that, that evoke an emotion somehow. All right, thank you guys very much. I'm Nick Thielen. You guys can hold on to the rest of the show.